I always enjoy chatting to you guys um, because I know that you never take it too seriously. We always have fun, uh, excuse which is me, what I, I think bring you'll the find fun. that I'm a changed man and I take everything seriously these days. Sure. Don't know. Sure. He does. He's very, very serious. <laughs> Professional is what I am, so please continue. P professional, of course. Sorry, how rude of me. <laughs> um, guys, we are very excited for season seven. Like, I, I almost don't know any other show that has quite the excitement around it. You know, like, this has been going 10 years and it's still, mm. like, insane. And Sophie, I know that you've said that this is your favourite season so far. What is it about it that is your favourite? It's just, since season one, it's the most vast season we've done. Um, there's so much material in it now. There's so many new characters. The world has just blown up um, in more the ways than one, but in a, in a positive sense of it, it's just become, the magnitude of the show has just gotten bigger and bigger. And I think a lot of that is thanks to the books that we already have. And now we're at a place where we have such an incredible fandom that we can now pull in from all the books all over um, and just keep that support and keep garnering that support. And so you can just sense in this season, and I think we shot for a year and um, I think also coming out of, of shooting in the pandemic, there was just like a, such a fresh energy again on set this year. And I think that that really shows in the show. It's just, um, it's just ace. It's a really, really good one. I think everyone's going to love it. Did you guys all do anything to mark 10 years? I know you guys have been like eight years, but 10 years of Outlander. Was there any big party? Did anyone give any big I had presents? A party. Like, no one, I didn't get an invite. No one came. <laughs> I forgot to send out the invites. I was at the party, I had all the drinks prepped, I had hors d'oeuvres all set up, and I turned around and I looked in the stack of invitations and I still sat on my dining room table. What would you so, do for an outlander party though? Party. What would your 10 year party look like? What would my 10 year party do? look like? Would you dress up like Brianna? Yeah, sure. I think I've done it before. Laugh. It's fun. Do You're it not again. on the wig though. No, oh, that's true. There you go. If we have a 10 um, party, you're invited. Great. I will be there. I will be there. Um, but you guys did film and for a year for this one, like you said. It's a long time. Who um, who annoyed you the most? Be nice. No, do you know what? There's um, Like we said, so much happens this season that the storylines actually get quite split. And so okay. we're not necessarily all together a lot this season. Um, there is Aww. a lot going on. So, yeah, I mean, I... I still try on a daily basis. To annoy Sophie. Whether I'm I mean, I expected you to be the answer, Richard. If that we're not was on why. set together, I'll text or something to annoy her. Do you know who's probably the most annoying, actually, is the horses. I feel like they're so used to us all I now that the they horses. just don't want to move. They're like, I don't want to go down that rocky path. I'm good. I'm going to stay right here. Um, that's, that's they're probably answer. the hardest to work with, aren't they? I haven't had any trouble, but okay. I can see you how one, can see how one to... might. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you imagine what your life would be like without Outlander? It does take up so much, I guess, of your time and you've done it for so long now. Can you imagine what life would be like without I'd be Outlander? More tanned. I'd be more tanned. <laughs> um, for life, no, do you know, it's, we are so lucky in that I think there's a lot of jobs where you, you come in and out of things. I know TV is finding its feet a lot more now, so people are, are doing specific jobs with specific cast and crew for longer, but I think Outlander still is so unique um, even now, in terms of just the rapport that we all have, it's like I said, it's it's tough conditions to shoot in, and it brings us all closer. So life without Outland would be weird. I mean, I see this a lot more than I see my own family. So I don't know. Maybe I'd just be a little loner somewhere. I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Um, so a lot to be grateful for. Apart from anything else, it's been <clears throat> we've been on it for the last what seven or eight years. So it's been yeah. steady, great work, which has brought a lot of work to Scotland as well, cast, you know, crew. Um, we've got a four sound stage studio there now. <coughs> um, what, Christ, what it's done for tourism is phenomenal. Um, it really is incredible what it's done. But, but it's, it's offered us all, you know, a really freedom and sort of flexibility in our work as well, because it's, as an actor, I don't know why I sound like Christopher Walken. Yeah. Um, as an actor, it's, um, it's you know, we don't take our work for granted because, you know, often oftentimes as an actor you're working from job to job. So just purely the security of it's been incredible and it's offered us, you know, chances to be on other projects without feeling the pressure of having to do it or, you know, it's given us much more sort of choice and uh, freedom when, when, we ha when we've when we been free, which isn't, you know, 
all that often. But and because the fans are so amazing, whatever yeah, projects been, we do, they're, they're loyal to come with, with us, you. which is amazing. Yeah, they are, they really always lovely. back you, whatever you're doing. So it's been, I actually can't imagine what it would be like had we not been doing it land after the last seven. I think I said the next seven or eight years. It's just its own entity, years. isn't it? I mean, there aren't yeah. other shows that the fan base that we have is so unique and it's so known within the industry. and. You talk about it and people are like, oh, your fans, they are just the best, aren't they? And they really are. And so, yeah, like Richard's saying, it gives you the security to go into other things, but also just knowing that you've got that little, the Outlander clan behind you supporting you is really cool. I'm very, very grateful.